Hi, welcome to Fishing the Edge. Today we're going wide out to the continental shelf. Going to try and find some bait schools using electronics, mark it with the GPS, and then try and work a mile and up. And if they're down deep, we might have to use a little bit of a trick by weighting some baits down and catching one on a live bait. So fingers crossed we can get a bit of action. Well, there's the 300 horsepower E-Tech idling along there using an amazing 700 mils, that's 0.7 of a litre per, per hour. So every hour out here, 10 hour a day, that's only seven litres of fuel. Uh, if we hook them all enough, it might be a bit different if I've got to blast around, but that's just amazing. If I want to pull some skip baits around in the riggers at about four or five knots, around about four to five litres per hour. So still amazingly cheap game fishing. If you're going to use live baits for marlin fishing, there's no excuse to use J-hooks and, and in fact they're actually banned in a lot of tournaments as they should be. Uh, long liners, our, our friends are long liners, I say that dubiously, they um, came up with the circle hook idea in the first place. Uh, how it works, pretty ugly looking hook, but it actually hooks all of the fish in the side of the mouth as long as you ease the drag up when the fish is moving away. And the easy way to demonstrate that is to, is to drop that line down in my hand like that. If I move towards the camera, so I'm moving away from the point of tension, that circle hook turns in. You can see it turn into my hand. Bang, and it locks in to the corner of the marlin's jaw. Makes it great for release. The fish jumps and, and, uh, and, and is uh, quite, quite agile because it's not hooked down deep, it's not in pain. So circle hook's definitely the way to go when you're live baiting. Well, at the moment, the bait's fairly deep. So what we need to do is get it down there. Easiest way to do that is pretty simple, snap a lead. Join two rubber bands, these are number 18s, same size rubber bands we use when we're trolling with 24 kilo tackle in the outriggers. Slide that onto your snap swivel, shut it off, and there you have it. It doesn't get much simpler than that. And then just feed that back. Uh, bridle rig your slimy mackerel, feed that sinker. It's weighted down. You can let it go down 10 fathoms, 20 fathoms, 60 fathoms if you like, and try and pull it up. Let it sit above the bait schools, and hopefully you're going to get a bite off a striper or a black marlin. Simple as that. It's exactly what we're looking for to drop that live bait into. Have a look here, we've got that pyramid section of bait. And it's just peeking out at about that 40 fathom mark. And even with that smaller snapper lead, light wind, not a lot of current today, quite easy to get that big slimy mackerel just to sit above the peak of that bait. Perfect scenario. Drop it down, hang on. I'm sure the bite won't be too far away. Catch myself a mackerel, there we go. I'll show you the bridle rig one. This is a crocheting needle and I've just stuck a float on it. Got to be fairly quick here. So you just pick that, just that soft spot, if you're a bit squirmish, just in front of the eyes of the mackerel, slide that loop on, pull it back through, grab our circle hook with our Dacron, twist it a couple of times, back through, twist it back the other way, back through, and there we have it, ready to rock and roll with my sinker, nice and quick, into the water. Now, open the bail arm, and down he goes. Now I've just had a, a bite, you can see that line's heading away there, so I'm just going to slowly ease that drag up, sinkering a bait down, and just make sure it just take our time. Because you want that circle hook to come around and lock into the corner of the jaw, keep easing that bait up, that uh, drag up I should say, I'm a bit excited. Keep easing it. And now, there we go, yep, we're on. That, that rod's loaded. Yep, we're away boys. Scored there Scotty. Mark that spot there, Scotty. Fishing the bait schools. Left hand down there, Scott, and forward, please. Fishing the bait schools and sinkering baits down. It's a great way to catch billfish. Fishing between the tide chains when it's quiet. We've marked some terrific bait there on the Lorraine Sounder. And I dare say I've had a billfish come along, eat this bait. I'm hoping that circle hook's locked in. Finally, we've got a decent run out of the fish, as I've just shown you there. And it feels like it has. Left hand down, Scott, and forward, please. We're in amongst a lot of other boats, so it's important to stay really close to the fish. Otherwise, it can cause all sorts of grief. Yeah, <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Once again, out here with my mates fishing, and I can see some colour there now. I can see those cobalt fins. That beautiful blue colour that you get of a striped marlin. There he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Beautiful smooth drag on this Torsion 80. It's a Fluga reel. 
important to have the right gear, but you don't have to spend a million dollars. I'm fishing with about $500 worth of gear. I've got the old Blue Water Ugly Stick here, spin rod, and uh, the whole system is just working absolutely perfectly at the moment. So for, for about $500-odd, I'm away, I'm game fishing, and I'm having a great time, and the weather is fantastic. My mates are here. They give me a bit of a hard time. Come on, might wind harder, but hey, it's all good fun. So my snapper lid's still connected there, and that's how we caught this fish originally, about four or five kilometres from where we are now, and about an hour and 40 minutes ago. And uh, he's lost a little bit of colour there, so he is, he is tired a little bit. I'm just trying to get that leader into Luke's hands, but it's just not as easy as it looks at the moment. Just turn right hand down a bit, Scotty. Turn towards him a bit. <laughs> yeah! All right. Just be careful there, boys. Right oh, no. You're right, mate. I'm standing back. Let's keep it going forward there, Scotty. Grab all of that bill, Lukey. How are you, mate? You right? Yeah. Right, buddy. Grab that bill. Got his bill? Yep. Right, eh? You got him? Yep. Right, important here. That circle hook is just caught in the corner there. So all I want to do is cut that off nice and short. I'll just get around here with this thing, the vice called a jackknife, and I'll just go bang. Right, eh? That fish is cut off, so we just got to be careful here now. If I can, I'll remove this and got rid of that too. That's the rest of our bait. That's a magnificent strike, Marlon. That's giving Luke a hard time. Right, buddy, let him go when you're ready, mate. Yep. There he is there. Right on. Yep. Way you go, Luke. Yep. All right, look at that. Woohoo! Oh. All right. Biggie. How long get away? <laughs> all right, well done, boys. Thanks, lads. That's what yeah, it's all yeah, about. Oh, oh, my back's killing me. That's about, uh, I guess, the best part of two hours on some spin tackle. Pass that over for me, Jono. So, that's what I've been winding in on. As I said, probably $500 at your tackle store. It's done a great job. The boys have done a great job. We've got uh, some 100 pound vanished fluorocarbon leader there. So, that's only 100 pound, and you can see that. That abrasive resistance that that fluorocarbon has got has done a magnificent job. Boys have done a great job. What a fight. I'm spent. You've been watching Fishing the Edge. We've been catching marlin off bait schools on spin tackle. Doesn't get a lot better than that. But I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm going up for one more drop. See you next time.